Good afternoon. I've had someone ask about the camshaft on my red F-150. It is a comp cam CL 31-215-2. Um, pardon my writing. Twos look like a Z. I can't help that. I kind of scribble sometimes. I get in a hurry. So, so we're going to talk about that for a minute. Hey, at least the hood's not frozen up this time. Oh yeah, my battery tray that I rebuilt. I took a piece of angle iron and just trimmed it down a little bit and then that's the hole down itself. And it's insulated by an old inner tube. So it's not just metal on plastic housing anyway. Um, working so far anyway, it looks good. Yeah, uh, someone had said that they'd used a battery tray from 87 to 91. I looked at one of those, and I wasn't sure how it would work, but evidently it works pretty good. I'll remember that next time. <laughs> so anyway, um, the only difference that I had to do this cam, it's for a 351 Windsor, and the firing order changed. The firing order on a 302 EFI is one five four two six three seven eight but this cam was different so this uses the three uh, 302 high output and 351 firing order which is one seven three two six five four eight and the knock sensor which is underneath on the intake over here somewhere i'm not going to get into all that show you where it's at but it's there i had to unplug it because it wasn't hardly idle it would sit there and stumble real bad because it was picking up the the, the the lifters is what it was doing okay so let's go ahead and start it up contact <laughs> Okay, so the sun's in my eyes and the wind's blowing like crazy. So anyway, as far as it's holding up, it does good. Performance, um, that's kind of sketchy. At low end, bottom end from zero to, you know, first gear, you know, as long as it stays in there, it does good, it's excellent. But hard acceleration, like if you're going 55 mile an hour and you step on it, it's just not there. And the reason being because it's not the, the cam's not designed for the EFI, and the PCM does not know um, how to compensate for it. Would this be good with a four barrel intake and four barrel on it with a like a 600 Holly? Probably would be. It would probably be really. It, it would probably have some real mid mid range. 
uh, power to it then. But as far as like it is now, it's just not. And the reason this cam is in here is because they sent me the wrong one. When I was putting this engine together, um, I had a cam ordered and I was running and it was late getting here and I and I was and that was the last thing I was waiting for it was holding me up on doing the engine install and when it showed up it was the wrong one and rather than wait another two three weeks or however long it was going to be I just went ahead and put it in I said it's just going to have to work but yeah it does work and it's a decent cam actually like I said it would be really awesome with a four barrel on it but I wanted to retain the EFI so hope that answers all your questions and I, I will uh, check in on its um, performance over time. I'm going to do a tune up on it here soon. Spark plug wires are old on it. They were used when I put them on and uh, spark plugs been in here almost 10 years. I did a tune up right after I got the truck on the other engine that was in here actually. So anyway, uh, that's about it for this video. and. That's all I can do for today, so thanks for watching.